In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Adobe Illustrator to make complex gradients with complex shapes. And you can use them for such things as ribbons or whatever, any kind of flowing object or anything like that. And then you can import them into Photoshop and use them in manipulations or in any different way you see fit. I'm going to go ahead and grab the pen tool start with and I'm going to make uh, just a random kind of flowing shape just here for demonstration purposes. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and press V to grab the selection tool oh. and I'm going to copy it by pressing control C and then paste it by pressing control V. And if that doesn't work, make sure that you have it highlighted and selected and then try it again. And there we go. All right, I'm going to bring this down here like so, and I'm going to rotate it a little bit. And the next thing you want to do is set up your blend tool. So double click it, and then let's go ahead and increase the specified steps. And I just want to make sure that the widest part will be covered, and it won't leave any lines. This is individual lines. This is how it makes it. So I'm going to just go ahead and max it out with 350. That's not the maximum steps you can do, but press OK or Enter. And let's go ahead and take the Blend tool and click on the end point here. And the other end point here, you'll see it when it has a plus next to the Blend tool. And there you go, that's your gradient. <laughs> right now it's not a gradient, but it will be. So let's go ahead and pick a color, make sure your fill is not active, and make sure that your stroke is active and you have a color. Let's go ahead and pick this green here. And then let's go ahead and grab the direct selection tool by pressing the second one down here on the toolbar or pressing A. And let's grab the, pack, the back path here and let's go ahead and nudge the color over like so. And there you have it. You have a complex gradient for a complex shape. You can even move this shape a little bit if you prefer. You don't like it there. Or you want to move this handle up like so. Get a little bit more flowiness to it. If these are too close for you. And there you go. You have a nice looking flowing ribbon that you can change color anytime. Say you don't like this color, go back and grab the selection tool towards the back. Say you want to make it a reddish color, grab the red. And there you go. And that's it. Let me know what you think of this tutorial and also let me know if there are any tutorials you'd like to see in the future.